How are you today? It's your friend Phil here, Project Management Trainer and Coach. Welcome to 40 Days to PMP and CAPM Exam Success. I am absolutely delighted that you could join us on the journey today. It's a little bit gloomy outside, but that won't stop us from talking about PMBOK Guide stuff, will it? You see, a lot of people, they allow the weather and circumstances to dictate how quickly they go through this content. Don't do that. You have to be dogged, rugged, and tough. You have to stay on it, even when it seems like you cannot or you should not. Like now, look at the ridiculous weather. But anyway, today we're talking about another process in cost management. And that process is called estimate costs. Now, in the world of the PMI, we have our work breakdown structure, which is broken down into different components. Now it's really raining. And those components are broken down ultimately to get to the lowest level in the WBS, which is known as the... The... <laughs> the work package. Good. I'm glad you got that one right. So the work package, but you don't stop at the work package. You break the work package down on many projects, even further into activities or tasks. We use tasks and activities interchangeably. When you get down to the task level, that's when you begin to think, how much will I spend on this task or this activity? And that's what we call estimate cost. You're estimating how much you're likely to spend on each activity. So it should be done with a lot of intentionality. It's a rather unique process because it's the only process in the PMBOK guide where all four estimating approaches are used. You can hear the rain. It's rather extraordinary for Arizona to get this kind of rain in February. But anyway, so we, we talk about analogous, parametric, three-point and bottom-up. All four are used in estimate cost. All right? That's one thing to take note of. It's the only process in the PMBOK guide. The only one that comes a little bit close is estimate activity durations, where you use three cost, uh, I beg your pardon, three estimating approaches. It's not cost estimating because you could use three point bottom up per metric. You know, you could use these approaches of estimating in either time or cost. The one I want you to remember when it comes to, to cost is three points because you've got parametric, I beg your pardon, you've got beta and triangular. I think the rain is causing some inter interference here. So think about beta and think about triangular. You use beta when you've been there, done that. You use triangular when it is a new uh, project. Now, the major thing you get out of estimate costs is uh, the activity cost estimates. And the activity cost estimates are the estimates for each activity. Some firms will go to a higher level and do this at the work package level, but that shouldn't take away the meaning of estimate, estimating costs. Estimating costs is really trying to find out how much the lower levels of work will cost. Whether you choose to do that at the work package level or you do it at the task level, pretty much the same end result, isn't it? So you get your activity cost estimates as an output and you also get the basis of estimates, which explains the rationale behind your estimates, the estimates for each activity. All right. Really quick, the tools and techniques, reserve analysis, make sure you know what that is. You want to analyze if you have the right amount of reserves. Should I just suspend this recording? Because this rain is really pounding. I wonder if you can still hear what I'm saying. Anyway, let me continue really heavy rain really really heavy anyway um, the next um, the, the other thing I wanted to say about reserve analysis is 
make sure that you um, make sure you think about when you are doing your reserve analysis because you could do this in planning or you could also do this in the monitoring and controlling process group you think about your reserves not just in the beginning but you also want to be thinking about it all through the project do I have enough reserves okay the project is this far do I have enough reserves stuff like that um, the next tool and technique is cost of quality COQ you want to do a cost of quality to analyze how much do we need to spend on quality related endeavors on a project we also have vendor bid analysis another tool and technique so you get a vendor bid don't just take it analyze it you know put it in context compare it to other bids you've got and compare it to what you thought the cost would be for that particular activity or group of activities and we also have here because there could be the need to collaborate with uh, lots of team members we have group decision-making techniques do you remember any of those group decision-making techniques can you tell me a couple of them <laughs> do you remember where we talked about this first in scope so plurality unanimity majority dictatorship what are those if that sounds like a political channel then you need to go back to the drawing board if that doesn't ring any project management bells and all you're seeing is John King from CNN then you need to go back to the drawing board so we're not talking about dictators we're talking about how you make decisions on your project how you make decisions as far as scope is concerned as far as cost is concerned right okay well that's pretty much it for estimate cost that's what you do you estimate all of the different activities and you leave it as that you get your activity cost estimate and your basis of estimates thanks for your audience make sure you take a look at all of those terms under this video the open-ended questions that I usually give you at the end of each video make sure you know what those things are and you should be in good shape also remember this does not replace the need for 35 contact our course it does not replace any of the other study aids we've got out there these are just joggers and reminders memory joggers and reminders for you all right so please visit www.praizion.com and take a look at the numerous study aids we've got and see which of those will, in addition, help you get to PMP exam success. Video, DVD, MP3, MP4s, PDFs, what have you. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now.